All right. I just added water, which is why that went down. Um, but this is day 18. Three days left. Three days left, baby. So what you do with three days left is remove this red plug. Fill both A and B with water. Remove the egg turner. Whoops. Remove the egg turner. This white thingamajigger in there. You can see the egg turning light is off. So it will no longer spin the eggs. And then once you do all that, you keep an eye on the humidity because you want to see this increase to between 70 and 75. So since really this is supposed to be about 50% and it's been 60 the whole time, I'm just going to go ahead and say that um, 70 to 80% is probably good. I mean, what are you going to do? If that's what you have to work with, that's what you have to work with. But to achieve that higher humidity, you'll adjust this vent. Close or open, whatever you need to do. So make small adjustments and give it a few, an hour or so, two hours maybe to see if it increases the humidity. So that's what I'm going to do. Remove that. Fill A and B. Remove the egg turner. And adjust this as needed to get 70 to 75% humidity. And then don't touch it for the next three to four days. Even if there's like two or three chicks in there that are hatched, you can leave them in there. They will survive um, from the oak sack, yolk, yolk sack, for about three days after they hatch. So just, um, <clears throat> I generally take them out just to make room for the other chicks. I take them out once they are dry. So they'll hatch, they'll be all wet, and it's nice and warm in there. And once this, uh, once their feathers fluff out, or their, it's not really feathers, but once their fuzzies fluff out and they're dry, then I take them out, close them back up, and just wait for the others to hatch. And I just keep doing that until they're all hatched. But anyway, be right back. Alrighty, back. Egg turner gone, red plug removed, A and B filled with water. And adjusting this little dial or vent up here as needed to achieve 70 to 75 percent humidity and that's it don't touch them until the chicks start hatching I did adjust them you know gently move the eggs around in there so maybe they have some extra room um, another thing to note this was a gallon of distilled water that I used and I've used maybe see in there half a gallon half a gallon of it probably during the process so far I'll probably fill this up maybe maybe once or twice over the next of this sorry camera angle this over the fill that up once or twice over the next couple days so a gallon of distilled water will last you definitely when you're incubating chicken eggs see ya